hello there been a while on it um well, it's been about two months or more uh, there's a lot of stuff been going on and i'm going to talk about absolutely zero of it simple as that um i'm still doing the fx phd course i'm teaching um on advanced environment model which not came as a bit of a surprise to people because a lot of people think i want to do monsters right um, it was nice to be able to do something different this time um, because you know I like doing monsters but let's face it it's not exactly the most um, commercial thing in the world where environment modeling uh, I got in a lot of trouble with certain people at certain games firms but I said that look it's fucking easy right? <laughs> a lot easier than trying to sculpt the human body or even a believable good monster um, and a lot of them said oh well he's only saying that because he hasn't done any complex so when I was asked to do the Durham Cathedral model for FX PhD, I thought, well, it's not bad, you know what I mean? It uh, hopefully it proves the point. It's yeah, it can be difficult. Um, most of it's just organisation, though, um, and the fact that if you haven't got a lot of repeating elements, um, then you you've got to dick around quite a bit, you know what I mean? Um, so the kids' school holidays are finally finished. All what was it? Seven weeks of it, all but two days through. Seven weeks. It was only six weeks if we were lucky when I was a kid, right? I mean, literally, you were lucky if it was if it was six weeks. It would be five and a half weeks or something. So I just think it's um, it's not on, right? It's like teachers are just getting time off for nothing. You know, I'm just... Fucking hell, I wish I got six weeks off from my job and got paid for it. But um, enough's enough. You're not fair. But if you're a parent, you'll understand uh, exactly how much it drives you crazy. So there wasn't... I haven't been out for um, a walk for quite a while now. Oops, going out of focus. Whoa. I've got this 60D turned round because it's easier in this case. So I'm looking at the focus around the glasses there. Um, but yeah, it's um, I haven't been up my walks for ages. Um, I also just got, I like that walk, but I want to change it. But I can't think of anything to change it to. And normally, as you know, when I do the videos, I do them when I'm out for a walk. The reason for that is it's like my video diary. I can get out of my head and, you know, just basically chill out a bit. You know what I mean? But... Um, when I'm not out for a walk, it means I'm subject to kids and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and you don't really want them running around going, ah, daddy, daddy, the background, right? Because it's, it's distracting. And these might only be a video daily, not be taken seriously. Um, but I do have some sort of fucking production values, right? You may have shaky cam, but I don't want kids screaming in the background. I drew the wrong line at that. Um, oh, but yeah, um, so at the moment I've got I'm on the last couple of weeks of the advanced environment modeling that I'm given. Uh, the next one is it's got a part that I'm calling um, the exercise because it's something that nobody's ever usually insane enough to do, um, at least not regularly. You've been very rarely asked to do, but if you can do it, it gives you the skills to do something else. And that's basically painting an entire photo real believable bump map for a stone wall. Right? No sculpting, just on a single poly. If you can do that and make it look believable, um, then anything else is a fucking breeze. But I know fine well that some people are going to want to kill me at the end of this because this is, you know, that sort of thing's a time leech. Um, but I'm trying to learn people on this course um, as much as I can. Now that you are limited in what you can do in 10 weeks, right? Bear in mind, one week is like, this is what, you know, this is what we've done the last week, you know. So basically, nine weeks of work. Um, they're only 45 minutes to an hour long. So you've got to fit a lot of stuff in. And I've went really overboard with how much I fit in, insane amounts of information. Um, so those of you that are taking part, um, you know, I haven't had any bad comments yet, which is uh, good. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's been something different. When I'm when it, when you're finished, I won't be right. I'm gonna keep on going with it and do some other stuff because it's still needed for the shot, uh, the background for a chroma live action chroma shot uh, for FX PhD, which will be and then this this asset, all the render passes, will be used for next term <coughs> as well. So. Um, on top of that, um, I'm sort of, uh, you know, thinking, well, actually, I wouldn't mind changing a few things, because Mike's the art, Mike Seymour was the art director for this, and uh, I think, well, you know, I might change it round a bit, finish things off, take an even higher level of detail, and uh, use the portfolio piece. Maybe have a few rampage and skeletons in it, or something like that. Um, but we'll see, you know, it depends on time and stuff. Some of you noticed I did that uh, concept by Feng a little while ago, it's probably the first video I've done in a while. Uh, I do actually want to get around to finishing that, you know, even though it's not a commercial piece, it's just because I love Feng's work, I always have done. You know, I knew, you know, 
Feng's name when I very first started. You know, he was busy writing episode one and two of Star Wars, you know. Um, and as a Star Wars fan, you knew his name, right? So we were sort of like, he's the, it sounds strange, but he's a link to the pre 3D Wayne and the, well, not post pre 3D Wayne, but you know, you get the idea. But me now, um, it's really off putting because I can see myself right there. So my eyeline's off, I should be looking there, shouldn't I? <laughs> but you know, I'm just deal with it. The only reason I've got um, a bit of time today to do this is because the wife's team just went out with Emily to go and pick Kane up. So this means I've got, well, roughly half an hour or something to do this. Um, I don't know how long this will go. Now the old 5.50 do used to have a 10 minute um, sort of limit, right? And then it would just overheat and go clink. You know that, I think we did a couple of them. Now this one, I've, I've got the Magic Lantern firmware, but it's my version of Magic Lantern. And I've had a bit of a fart around with it. Now, one of the things it's in, stock Magic Lantern is you can up and down the bit rate of the video. So I've turned it down to 0.9, and hopefully that will stop it overheating as much. But seeing that, I've never actually tested this new 60D video yet. Uh, I haven't had a chance with the school holidays and stuff, never been at the house. Um, I've just ordered last night and today a uh, full reel system. Um, this morning, a matte box. The full focus is going to have to wait probably another few weeks. I've basically got money on PayPal. And what I'm doing is all the stuff that I don't need, right? That I've taken like, those stuff for the 550D, like fucking battery grips and shit that don't fit on the 60D. And lenses that I've got duplicates of that I'm selling. And the money from that goes to pay for new equipment. So I'm not going to the wife and saying, hey, excuse me, I want to peg out 900 quid on X, right? Because <laughs> it doesn't go well, down well with wives, right? Let's just face it, it doesn't go down well with them. Um, so it's best in... Uh, Sort of scheme of things, try and have money that is there that she knows is there, you know. But that's my money, as it were. But no, I can't put it on the little. Oh, sort of microphone. The microphone's sort of there, right? I can't put the fucking. So on the camera's there, obviously. But um, so I'm trying. I'm hoping that uh, once I get uh, this into dualize and sync it up, um, it will all be fine. You'll have good sound, not the sound off the can. I really can't be asked with all you know sorting around the sound levels, and it's easy to use the H4n. Um, digital audio zoom jobby because the, the sound quality of that is absolutely amazing um, and it's probably the best quality wind cast you'll have in a while I don't know what the number of this is I've, I've totally lost what the count I suppose you, really I should have had a look on um, on YouTube before I started recording this but you know we've got half an hour to get the thing sorted um, God knows what that was probably junk mail but yeah so I'm dripping a sweat if you wonder why I've been running like a mad thing because I've had to do the dishes clean the bomb site that Emily left in the front room, uh, hoover everything up, wipe all the benches down, loads of other stuff, right? Just where to get it all done before the wife gets back. Because obviously she can't see I think you're doing fuck all. So, I, I, you know, that's why I'm, I'm literally driven and sweaty. Not a fit dude, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if I've got any chance to say, but like, you know, the end user event this year, I had a, I had a great time. Um, I mean, boy, yeah, they were having a great time. <laughs> Especially the, uh, the, the sort of second night that I was there. There's a whole stream of stories about that one day that will come out, but uh, my lips are sealed for now. But um, yeah, so I've sort of stepped outside the 3D world for a while, as some of you know. Um, a, lot, a couple of years ago, I started stepping outside of it a bit, not because of any nefarious reasons, I just got sick of the bullshit, you know what I mean? You go to a forum and it's like, hey, you're going to use your software now, because I like it. I couldn't give a flying fuck what you use, honestly. I could not care less what you use. You know, use what works for you. I do. And if the day ever comes that I suddenly decide that I want to use zebras instead of mud box, you know what? I would, in a heartbeat. But uh, see, something else comes along that I like better. Great. You know, there's, um, I'm a programmer. Who knows, maybe one day I'll write something. So I doubt it, but you know. There's a few little things I've had to mess around with, but nothing that I would ever consider a finished product. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, and we have sort of went on a way to sabotage my career. A bit this year because I was I was getting sick of the uh, Wayne Scrubs and Monsters Wayne's the Mudbox guy and I thought well that's all very really well but um, a lot of us might not like me saying this Mudbox has became a niche area right um, and that's not good for freelance work because companies still don't understand that it's the same fucking shit coming out from Zebrush to Mudbox to 3D coat to Blender to whatever you know what I mean so you've got to um, work within that if you want to live so uh, talking of which uh, oh no three weeks of videos, there's one on one doing at the moment, and another two weeks worth of FX PhD, then it's about time to start looking for some more freelance gigs, so when have you got anything going, remember me, you know, I can do lots of shit, right, I have a very wide skill set, um, but yeah, it's, uh, so I'm stuck on all the camera gear again, because I always thought, well the trouble is with DSLR stuff, right, 
is when you're filmmaking, it's all about the gear. And if you don't have the right gear, you can't get it looking right. Uh, and I, I do like a light setup, but I thought, well, fuck it, you know, what the hell, I'll, I'll, I'll push the boat out a little bit, but see if I can get something that's cheaper, right? Then I'm, I'm going to spend a thousand pounds on a fucking Philip Blue jo Dolly, you know what I mean? I know it's a nice piece of kit, because I've seen one, you know, when I was over in EDU. But um, that's too fucking heavy for me, mate, you know, I don't know where. Like, I travel light, I don't drive, and I am not paying excess baggage to go abroad for anybody. Um, <clears throat> so it's got to fit in a tiny little backpack holder. You know, um, in fact, the one that was Nick was even, it looked like the troubles with camera bags that have a really fucking thing about camera bags. Like, ah, have you noticed the small ones? They look like fucking handbags. Can nobody make a male looking camera bag? Because, funny enough, I do not want to go walking around the heart of Newcastle or Durham late at night looking like I have a fucking handbag. Now, I'll let you work out why. But yeah, for, let's face it, right? You do, there's some places you do not want to be. You know, knocking around looking like you've got a fucking handbag. So I would like something that was a bit more male looking, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I don't want a big giant fucking, I don't need it a lot of the time. Uh, I might do this because I still have to work, to put all this fucking real stuff once I've got it. Uh, yeah, that actually worked out there, but yeah. Um, so I'm still doing more stuff, but I say the stuff I'm not talking about at the moment is just some bit you'll hear in due course, but uh, I've just been enjoying having a bit of downtime. I wouldn't be sleeping two hours a night as some of you know. Uh, which is not good, you know, that's seriously not good. Um, being at the doctor's about it, told me to pill, sneak these fucking sleeping pills up your arse, because I'm not having them. You know, I don't believe in them. Um, besides, I have had a history in the past of having nasty reactions whenever I've had to prescribe things like that to me before. Um, so it's easier all around not to have them. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I'm still functioning fine, still doing the art, you know what I mean? Be older, around the eyes now, get older around the eyes. The only wrong with this 50 mil lens, it's only about what? Two foot away from my nose, so my nose looks fucking huge. <laughs> I hope it's not that big in real life. Well, actually, it is, I know it is. <laughs> Get that from my mother and me to bleed, especially me to bleed. My mother's nose is all right, mine is fucking. <sighs> Won't go sideways, it's all like Concord. But anyway, a bit less hair up there. Isn't she? You know, when I, was, when I was younger, my hair used to come to the eye, it's a very small forehead. All this round here, I've lost that since I was 18. Depressing. Right. It's 12 minutes 45 and we're still going. It hasn't shut down yet, which is fucking amazing. It's <laughs> right, so how do you recommend Magic Latin Firmware if you're a program that has a fuck around with it? Like I have, you can do all sorts of groovy stuff. But uh, what I like is it's got now, um, it's got the, the sort of focus pull jobby, so I can tell in there at the moment, where, where is it? I will focus just on my bottom eyelid there. So if I put that there and then try and get my hand in focus, it should be in focus about there. See? Yeah, useful for doing this, but uh, I wouldn't use it. This is a regular thing from a Wayncast because I don't want to carry kilos worth of gear when I'm out for a walk, you know. But anyway, uh, I'll do a proper one when I've actually go out for a walk, hopefully, some point in the next few days. But I wanted to just check because a few people asked me, you know, one was I still alive, two was that the end of the Wayncast forever. No, it wasn't. I've just I had other things on the plate that were far more important than doing these bloody things. Um, it wasn't anything to do with. You know, real life. There's something you know. My dad had a triple bypass, um, that was sort of a bit of a surprise, um, and we had a lot of stuff to do. Because he was the only driver, and he was in Middlesbrough, which is miles and miles away. It meant a three and a half hour bus journey to the hospital. Three and a half hours, which was always right. So we learned that it gets about 13 minutes before it cuts off, which is groovy, right? <laughs> we know what the limits are now. I'm trying to see if I've got the focus thing. Ah, there it is. Right. Um, but yeah, so it was three and a half hours there and then three and a half hours, about seven hours out of the day every time we visited them. But that was just one of the many things I had going on at the time. Um, and I didn't, I just didn't have a life. There's no way that I had done these. You know, because it's not just the recording, it's then these files are going to be fucking huge. And I've also got the, the WAV files of the H4M, which I've got, which once are synced, you end up with a shitload of massive fucking files. Um, and then I've got to try and make it into a small enough format that I can actually upload it online. I'll try and keep this HD, but something tells me it won't be because they'll just end up fucking massive. But yeah, I might edit it into a few different bits, I don't know yet. Um, in fact, that last one I could end it in, edit in a few bits, don't know. I was actually thinking of doing a proper uh, intro thing. I've got an idea for a really good intro for these. It's sort of humorous, but not, if you know what I mean. It's say like, with some clever editing and stuff. Um, I want to wait the day when everybody's out though, to do it. Um, it's, it's sort of like it's off something that's off um what's the name of the company over there what brand is it hot fuzz so it's a bit hot fuzz 
I want to, I want to sort of do a version of that, but different. You'll see what I mean if I ever get around to it. Um, sort of takes the piss out of me a bit, but anyway. Right, uh, I suppose I better get going because uh, I've got no idea. It must be getting near the time of going back. I have cut down my caffeine intake quite a lot. Small and slow smoke effort on Jimmy, but I've got to try and calm that down if I stop. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really wet today. I don't like the wet weather. But, um, see, it's amazing, isn't it? You, on this one, you haven't had some jiggly cap. I should sit like this when I'm talking, shouldn't I? I should do this all the time, Phil, for a little ZIA jobby. But um, I always said, you know, one day I'd like to have someone in the study cam to follow me around to do one. For no other reason, just it would drive his fucking head. But, um,. I've been sticking a lot of stuff on eBay that I don't need. By the time you watch this, it'll all be finished, you know. There'll be a few more bits and pieces that'll pull up, you know, but you know, if you want to know what's going up, just have a look at my blog, you know, and if there's anything new going up, I'll, I'll put it up in there. Pivot a bit, try and raise a bit of money for some more camp gear. Right, I'm off, um, because uh, the cigarettes are in there and the lighter is in here. That's not good. So, uh, I, again, yeah, I am still alive. I have a hell of a lot on um, at the moment, so... Um, Hope you all understand, and some of that will, you'll find out in due course, and the things you won't. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's been an interesting time. So, not all good either. Right, I'll see you all next time, which will probably be jiggly cam, like this. I shouldn't do that. Looks like I'm tossing off in it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Somebody's making a bit of gift of that fucking now. I know you are. If you do, I will kill you. Silence, I kill you. Right. See you all. Bye-bye.